Hello guys, Skippy Shamino here with a new video for Fishing Planet. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys everything that I know about the season. It's not simple, it took me a lot of time, but I'm going to explain it to you guys, every part of it. And uh, after that, probably you understand it. So I'm going to make timestamps too. The first one is the season, championship, divisions, uh, uh, how you get club points that's one thing that is very important and the club tokens and what you can do with it because at the moment with the club tokens you can do a couple of things but they need to introduce the special things still so first of all i want to start to say to you guys if you're a casual this is nothing for you you will never compete i saw that already after one day uh, there are some things that you can do i will talk about it if we go to the least, because there are a couple of bonuses that everybody can achieve. It's not that much. It's a little bit more experience that you get or a little bit more uh, money that you get. But at the end, if you are leveling this and you can spend 50,000 currency and make a club and just get your 300 points and you can reach that uh, league, why not? It's, it's a little bit, but it's something. So I'm going to start first with something very simple. So if you go to clubs and you go to leagues, you will see the league here. So this is the first season because there is a lot of terminology in this system. And it's, that makes it very hard to understand. So first of all, you got a season. What is a season? A season is just going to run from a certain date until another date. So you guys can see the first season that we got is called Icebreaking Angler Rivals. So it's very simple. So it will run from the 1st of December until the 19th of February. The club with the most points will receive the rewards. That's very simple. Nothing is going to change on that part. So you will see it here. So I'm doing now with my club members uh, a little bit of a farm so here you see the club points all the club points that you get together from your club is going to give your total club and after the season in this and three months the club with the highest amount of number will get the prizes and what are those prizes this season rewards so the top 10 gets this prize every member of that club will get this prize so the prizes are really good but take it from me this is only going to be for the guys that play non-stop this league. Because you need to keep farming entire days. Because those points what you get here, they are keep going up. Always keep going up. So, but it are very nice prices. So every guy of the winning club will get a boat, will get a club series, will get everything, get 10,000 bait coins. Uh, what is this? Is this 10 million? 10 million currency and 30,000 uh, club tokens. So everybody, always remember, don't leave your club. Because if you leave your club, let's say in these seven weeks and you're at number one, you will not get the prize. After the season is done, the 19th of February, they will do a review for two days and then everybody get the prizes. If you leave the club before that, you don't get the prize. So it's never good to leave a club. Always remember that. So that's very simple to understand. So very simple club points season. But then the season is divided in championships. And that's something that I'm going to talk about in my next part. Okay, guys, so the next part is the championship. So the championship has not really anything to do with the season. So the championship, we got 10 of them and every week we got a new one. So the first one that is going to start on the 8th of December is championship one. So it starts from zero club points again. Uh, so everybody starts from zero and the guys that got the most points at the end of the championship will get club tokens. So it's once again it reset, but if you're a casual, you know once again that you cannot compete with the guys that play this non-stop. But you got 10 chances to start from zero. So the guys that miss now the season, you cannot recover from that. But in the championship, every week you start from zero. 
But that's not all, because a championship, you need to see it a little bit like football. A championship is divided in leagues. And in the first championship, we are going to start all from the lowest league, and we can promote or we can go back down. So I will show you guys that. So the 8th of, uh, of December, everybody starts in the championship in the beginner league. So you will get in the beginner's league if you accumulate the 300 club points, but that's not really hard. 300 points, you still got one week to go. If you catch 150 common fish and you're in a club or in a club room, you will get 300 points. So the beginner's league is going to start with the first championship. And what is going to happen when we start the second championship? The top four of the beginner's league because they are divided in divisions. So we are going to get divisions in every league. So a division are 7 to 10 clubs. The top 4 in every division will promote to the next league. So it's not that all the clubs are in the, 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 the beginner's league. And that the top 4 of the 300 clubs goes to... No, it's divisions. And the top 4 goes to the rookie league. And... What is good about it, you cannot get down again. So even if you're a casual, this is an opportunity. Just get 300 points, get a club, and you will get this benefit always. You don't even need to fish anymore, because you cannot get out of this anymore. You always will get a plus 1% to, uh, to your uh, experience and 1% to your currency. So that's going to happen. So let's have a look. So championship one ended, the top four of every division goes to the rookies. What is going to happen in the rookie that championship two? Here it's a little bit different. You guys can see right away why it's good to go a league higher. Because you get more experience bonus and experience money. The rookie league is a little bit different, but not that much. What is going to happen here after championship two is that the top three, not the top four, but the top three will go to the professional league. And the guys that uh, are low, I don't think it's, it's all the other guys, but the guys that are low are going back to the beginner's league. Then championship three, the guys and so on and so on. You guys understand it. So the leagues... You always start in the league, you promote to a league, or you go down in a league. And the beginner's league, you always stay. Top three, top four for the beginner's league. That's how it works. Do you get prizes for it if you are first in your division? No. You only will get the bonus if you go one league higher. You only get a higher bonus. That's all what you get. So on and so on. So, and then you come in the legendary league. The legendary league is the highest league. So you will see it here. And this is something special. But you can already see here, the league bonus is 12% more experience for every fish and 7% more money. So you can already see that uh, if you come here, you will see, and I just saw this. Do we got this with other ones too? Ah, okay, you get the trophy. So you probably get the trophy if you uh, if you go to a higher league. That's really cool because this was not in the patch notes. I just saw it. So probably you get this trophy if you're in the top three and you promote to the next league. That's something really nice. So the legendary league. So let's have a look. So the legendary league is something very special. So what is going to happen here? So people cannot promote anymore. There are no divisions anymore. So everybody that comes to the legendary league competes with his club against all the other clubs in the league. So the, the top 50% always stays in the legendary league and the top 50%, lowest top 50% always goes one league down. That's very special. So that's it a little bit, guys. So it's not that complicated... Yeah, it's not that complicated. Uh, probably a lot of people think now, what the fuck is this guy saying? Uh, but a quick recap. 
so we got the championship every week we got a new one championships are resetted every week so we start from zero club points not the season ones they stay but the championships are back from zero at the end of the week the club with the most championship points so club points will get club tokens uh championships are divided in leagues and the leagues are divided in divisions where we are going to get seven to ten clubs for every divisions are you with the top four in the beginners league you go one league higher are you uh, in the lowest part you stay in the beginners league here it's top three the guys that are lowest three go back and you just get the bonus from the league that's it and you will get the trophy too probably if you go up that's all what you need to know guys now i'm going to show you guys how you can farm club points okay the next part are the club points the club points are very important because uh yeah they are going to terminate that you are going a league higher that you can win the seasonal rewards and all that stuff so how can you get club points so first of all you need to have a club of course and it's it's very simple so you can get club points in uh tournaments and competitions too so you you can see here the club points if you go to details you will see that camino uh, caminos <laughs> cape chaminos club got 621 club points so you can see i got two members uh, by the way i'm looking for more members because i want to get to 20 but i will make an extra video about it so there are three things that you can do the first two things is in um, competitions. So if you go to competitions and you view the competitions here, you will see that for being in the top 10, you get points. So if you win a competition, you get 2,150 points. That's not a lot because I'm going to show you guys uh, what you can do to farm it really quick. And that's why so many clubs already got 200,000 club points. But I'm just going to say that to you guys. Just the same in the tournaments, I think. So let's have a look. Yeah, if you win a tournament, you get 150,000 club points. So that's something that I want to say to you guys. It's not easy accessible, but you can get it by fishing too. So I will show you guys that. So first of all, if you want to get club points, you need to go to a club room. So you can see here, I'm here at the moment in a club room that's very essential so if you go to an area take current go in a club room and what are your club uh, buddies going to get is this so you will see it here if it is still here no it's not here so um, if somebody goes to a club room everybody in your club will see the club room is open and you can join it you cannot join it if you don't have the level because i already know some guys are thinking oh i'm level five can i join the amazonian maze and power level through no you need to go to the area and then you can join the club room that's very important that you know that because if you don't join a club room you cannot get club points then the next step so you guys can see i'm here at the moment with my buddy with with fike one he's from my club and what you're going to get is, if you catch a fish, you get a certain club point for every species. So, it's very simple. So, if you go to the fish species, you will see here, a young is going to give one point, a common is going to give two points, a trophy three and a unique four. So, I will show you guys it right away, how it works. But then I'm going to talk about something that is broken and why so many people got so much points so it seems that if you got one guy with you in your club room you will get one point more for every species and that's a lot i think it can go to five or ten so you need to understand if you got five guys of your club at the same area in the club room i will get for my unique i will get four plus five that's nine points but you need to understand i'm fishing with a rod pot so I'm catching non-stop fish. So you guys can see here, this is my fishing in the Amazonian maze. Maybe 30 minutes, one hour. And that's how those guys are getting so much points. And that's something that the developers need to fix. Uh, because I think at the moment what is happening, the most clubs that got those points, you will see it here. 
zou de first club at the moment, ons team, already got 117.000 points after two days. That's how they get so many points. They are at Lone Star with four rods on the rod pot, one rod in the hand, with five or ten. I'm not sure the maximum guys that you can stack in a club room and they are just destroying the point system. I don't think that was the purpose about clubs. That So at the moment, the season is fight in Lone Star. That's everything that, that is happening. And that's how it comes. Can you fix that problem? It's really hard. Because how are you going to fix that? Because you got low level guys, you got high level guys. You can't say the bigger the fish, the more points you get. That's true. But what are you going to say to all the people that are not levels 80? So I'm not sure how it's going to, how they can fix this. I think they need to work with something, your level compared to the fish that you catch. And you got the multiplier. But this system is, is broken. Because now at the moment... You never can compete anymore. The season is two days out of 90 days, but you cannot compete anymore. So I will show you guys that. So I'm here with my buddy Viking. I'm fishing in the Amazonia maze and I will show you guys how it looks. Because I just made for one hour 500 points. You need to realize if uh, five club members are here from me. Uh, we can make easily four, five thousand currency, not currency, uh, club points every hour. So I hope that the game is going to give me fish because I want to show you guys it. So there is fish number one. So you will see this is probably uh, a common. And you will see normally this fish is only giving me two points, but now it's giving me three points because I got one club member in the room with me. And therefore, that's what those high clubs are doing at the moment. So they are just non-stop getting fish in, but they are using, this was a trophy one, was two points, uh, four points in total, three for the trophy and one for my buddy that is here in the room. So that's how you need to get club points, guys. So, uh... It's not that complicated. Just get uh, a lot of people in your room. Yeah, and my bait is gone. That is from your club. And just non-stop catch fish with the rod pot. That's how you get a lot of points. Now I'm going to talk about the club tokens. That's the end part of the video. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, guys. The last part of this video, I'm going to talk about the new currency that we got. And that's the club token currency. So I don't have it at the moment. But that's not really a problem. Because you cannot do anything with it at the moment. You can do a couple of things with it at the moment. But it's not really worth it. So there are two ways that you can get it. Maybe there are more. But I need to check the newsfeed for it. What I saw was... If you win a championship, so if your club got the most club points in that week, you will get uh, club tokens. And if you win the season, you see it here too. This is the new icon for the club tokens. And then the third one is you need to buy it, of course, with real money. So there is one uh, DLC that you can buy it. Would I buy this DLC? No, not in a thousand years. Because what can you do at the moment with, with those uh, club tokens? You can do only one thing. That's this. So you can go to your club. You can go to settings. And then here you can buy some stuff with those club tokens. The other things, they still need to put it in the game. So they are going to put in the game, I think, things for your club that you can buy with those tokens. But at the moment, it's not in the game. It probably will come when the first championship or when the first championship ended. Because on that moment, that's the first time that people got access to the tokens and can get them without paying with real money. So that was it for the video, guys. So if you are a casual, this is not for you. I saw that right away. Are they going to change the, the points? I don't know. It's already a little bit too late because they need to reset the season then again. Uh, is it worth it to do it as a casual? Yes, I would do it to just get to the league. It's only 300 points and you stay in the, in the rookie league or beginners league. So this one 
300 club points and you will get this bonus. Maybe, I don't know how many clubs are competing in this system, but if you're maybe lucky and you're like, let's say, semi, semi casual, and you can get to the rookie or the professional, you're already looking for 3% more experience and 3% more money. I think that's maybe something that my club can achieve too. But all the other stuff, it's not very worth it. You get like a trophy too, but at the end, this is for, this is made for people that play the game non-stop, uh, are doing the, 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 the point money farm at the moment with five bottom rods, with five and people in the club room non-stop each day and take it from me. A normal living being cannot compete with it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have fun. Bye-bye.